The morning show by itself is worth the price of Apple TV+. Hi there, everyone. I'm Jeff, and this is Plain English, where we help you upgrade your English with current events and trending topics. This is lesson 586, so that means the full lesson is available at plainenglish.com slash 586. That's thanks to JR, our trusty producer. Today's topic is The Morning Show. It's a series on Apple TV Plus that's all about a morning news program. And if that makes you think it's fluffy, then don't make the same mistake I did. This is a serious drama, and it's worth watching. I'll introduce you to this show today. No spoilers. I won't tell you what happens. In the second half of the episode, I'll show you what it means to star in a production. And we have a quote of the week. Let's get going. The Morning Show on Apple TV Plus has a star-studded cast. It features Jennifer Aniston, famous for playing Rachel in Friends, and Steve Carell, who played Michael in The Office. Reese Witherspoon won an Academy Award for Best Actress. She plays one of the two main characters. If you feel good to start the day. People have them on in the morning as they get ready for work. There's a little news, just enough to keep you informed, but it's not too heavy. So when I saw the morning show on Apple TV Plus was about morning news, I thought the show itself would be as fluffy and lighthearted as the Today Show is in real life. But I was wrong. This show is a powerful drama about a high-stakes industry. The main plot stems from sexual harassment and questions about equality in the workplace. And it lives up to its star-studded cast. The show starts by introducing us to Mitch, played by Steve Carell, and Alex, played by Jennifer Aniston. They co-host The Morning Show on the fictional UBA broadcast television network. They've been together for 15 years until Mitch is suddenly fired for sexual misconduct. From there, the show and the network are thrown into turmoil as they have to replace their highest paid on-air news personality and simultaneously deal with the fallout from the scandal in the newsroom. The show is very, very loosely based on real events. In real life, in 2017, Matt Lauer, the co-host of the Today Show on NBC, was fired. He was a household name in America. He and Katie Couric worked together for years in the morning. But he was fired for sexually harassing a female colleague at the Sochi Olympics in 2014. Other details of harassment and misconduct surfaced after that. Small details from real-life events pepper the show. For example, the real-life Matt Lauer had a button under his desk in his Today Show office. With one press of the button, he could close his office door from his desk without getting up. Mitch 
has a button just like that in the morning show. Morning news might be fluffy, but it's a cutthroat business. A reporter for CNN, Brian Stelter, wrote a book called Top of the Morning, which detailed the intense competition in the industry. And the morning show brings that intensity to life. Not surprisingly, Brian Stelter himself was a consulting producer on the morning show on Apple TV. One of the crazy things about morning TV is the schedule. Anchors and producers wake up often at 3.30 a.m. They have ritualized morning routines. Every minute counts, and you see that reflected in the show. People who work in the industry say this was true to life. Producers work behind the scenes to get everything done. They pick the stories, they slot them into segments, they write the copy, they book the guests, they make last-minute changes, they prepare the stars, and they do it without getting a lot of credit or public recognition. There's one really funny line at the end of season two. A producer says to Alex, Jennifer Aniston's character, just be yourself and read the copy I wrote. That says it all. The other thing about TV news, the egos. What you see on television is a polished final product. But behind the scenes, the personalities vie with each other to get the best stories. They scheme to get promotions, to get more visibility. They negotiate hard to get what they want. The networks pay a fortune for the on-air personalities, and then, for their trouble, they have a full-time job just to manage the egos of the people they're paying. The competition among the on-air stars is a big part of the morning show, but it also shows the personalities as, well, personalities, as people who have real feelings and emotions that aren't the polished versions we see on television. The morning show also shows the corporate intrigue. Who at the company will pay the price for Mitch's outrageous behavior over the years? How much did the company know about what he was doing? How will they deal with the lawsuits from Mitch's victims? There are a lot of subplots, too. Morning news is produced in the big cities, but consumed in the small towns. The tension between big city culture and small town culture is evident when the network picks Mitch's replacement. Being on television and working those hours places strain on marriages and families, even when there's no sexual harassment involved. A subplot explores Alex's life as America's trusted mom in the morning, even when she's not the ideal mom at home. The show also explores the outbreak of COVID-19. In season two, we see the morning show crew start to grapple with the novel coronavirus, as we called it then. We see them dismiss it at first, as we all did, and then gradually realize that it's a big story. They deal with it as professionals 
reporting on the virus, but also as people in a workplace being sent home, worried about their health, even getting sick. If there's one criticism, it's that there might be too many subplots to follow. It can get confusing at times, and some storylines are not as well developed as others. Seasons 1 and 2 are available now. Season 3 has already been filmed and will be released this fall. The events in Season 3 take place after the pandemic. The show has also been signed for a fourth season. This was such a surprise. I don't know what it was. I just think how fluffy morning news is. Maybe I typecast Jennifer Aniston and Steve Carell as actors who are in fluffy comedies. But I'm telling you, this show alone is worth the price of Apple TV+. Plus. Not that I paid that price. I got a new phone and I got three months of Apple TV Plus for free. So I'm watching all the shows that catch my eye on there. Another one, The Shrink Next Door. That's a great one. Also with a star-studded cast. Apple can afford to splash on high-quality dramas with expensive casts. So let's you and I enjoy these shows while the fun lasts. Today's expression is a quick one. You're not going to use it that often, but I did use it myself, and I want to show you how to use it. The expression is to star in. It's a phrasal verb. We use this with actors, actresses, and sometimes musicians. To use this term, the actor has to have some level of accomplishment. The person already has to be known as a star. And then that actor needs to play a prominent role in that movie, TV show, or theater production. It can't be a supporting role. Today, you heard about The Morning Show and its high-profile cast. Jennifer Aniston plays Alex Levy, a morning television host. She's one of the main characters, so we say that Jennifer Aniston stars in The Morning Show. She also starred in the sitcom Friends in the 1990s. Mindy Kaling appears in the morning show, too. She's a comedian, a writer, producer, director, and actress. She starred in The Office as Kelly. She was one of the main characters. Now, she also plays a character in the morning show. She plays Audra, a morning TV host for a rival television network. Now, in the first two seasons, she appears in a few episodes. She has some funny lines, and you'll immediately recognize her style. But I wouldn't say that she stars in the morning show because she's much more of a supporting actress in that show. You heard about Phantom of the Opera closing. It played on Broadway since the mid-1980s. That's a long time. There have been many cast members during that time, but an actor called Ben Crawford starred in the final Broadway production. He was the Phantom. You can use this in music videos, too. Sometimes the main singer will invite another performer or singer to act in the music video. 
But the important thing is, it has to be a famous person playing a big role in the music video. This is not about playing an instrument on the recording. This is about appearing in the video. So you heard about Ed Sheeran a few weeks ago. He stars in a music video by Taylor Swift. He stars in the music video for the song Everything Has Changed. You can even use this with commercials, but only if the person is really famous. Tom Brady, a famous football player, stars in a Hertz car rental commercial. Ben Affleck, an actor, stars in a Dunkin' Donuts commercial. In these cases, the commercials are not really famous, but the actor or celebrity is. Today's quote is by the author Joyce Carol Oates. She says, I never change. I just become more myself. I like that. I never change. I just become more myself. And that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. No spoilers. I wanted to. I wanted to share my opinion on some of the things that happened. But like always, when I talk about movies and TV series, I refrained. I held back. I didn't spoil anything. But you should see this show. Now, I know streaming adds up. We talked about that, but Apple TV Plus is worth it. You won't need it all year long. At least I don't think so, but it's one of the cheaper ones. They don't have a huge library. It's not Netflix, but what they have is really good. So you can subscribe, have it for a month or two, maybe three months. That's probably enough if you don't want to pay the whole year. But I do recommend checking out The Morning Show on Apple TV+. And if that's not your cup of tea, you can also try out The Shrink Next Door. That's another good one. Well, that's all for me today. We'll be back on Thursday with an episode that will honor the most hated font in all history. I'll let you guess what that is. Come back on Thursday to find out. See you then.